Let's talk about basic reporting and visual analysis. When we switch to the report view, normally we have nothing selected for information, so you'll see a message that says nothing's included in this report. The way we add to the report is we simply look at the Add Tables tab in the Project Manager and we select tables that are shown in the list. Tables are organized according to what they apply to. We have project-wide tables, structure modeling type tables, tables applying to loads, we have tables with analysis results, and we have tables that are related to design results. So to create a basic report, let's drag, for instance, the materials table over from the structure tables. When we do that, the report then will get created with the table that is selected. If we want to add other tables, we can drag them onto the report as well. So now I have all my members and all my materials shown. In order to modify a table, if you select it in the report, it'll switch to the Selected Table tab of the Project Manager, and from there you can do various things. One thing we can do is add or take out columns that are currently in the table. So for instance, if I don't want to see the Poisson Ratio column, I'll just uncheck it in the report and it will no longer be there. So we can add columns or remove columns this way. Other things we can do relative to columns are to drag them or reposition them. For example, if I'm over the elasticity column and I hold my mouse button down and I drag it to the right, you'll see I have moved its location. So I can reorder the location of the columns by simply dragging them. If we look at the other columns, say in the member report, I can do a sorting based on columns by clicking on the column. So for example, the name column currently shows a green arrow down telling us we are sorting based on the name in a descending order. If I click on the name column again, it'll resort on based on an, ascend, an ascending order. So all columns can be used as the sort key. So I could come over to the framing column and click on it, and now I'm sorting on framing. So we can change the sort order by clicking on columns. You might ask, how do we remove tables if we have them in the report? We do that by selecting the Modify tab in the Project Manager, and we will see that the included tables are shown. And if I click on the X, I can remove that table. Another thing I can do with the Modify tab, and, and to demonstrate that I'm going to add another table, let's put the Nodal Loads table in. If I don't like the ordering I have, if I switch to the Modify tab, I can simply hold my mouse down and drag it up in this case, and it'll place it first in the list. So we can reorder the tables in the included tables part of the project manager as well. Let's now talk about double-click tables. If we're in a result view or a design view, if I double-click on an object, like say this member, when I double-click on it, a report will be generated for that member for the particular, in this case, result case we're looking at. So by double-clicking on that member, I'm getting member displacements, reactions, forces, stre and stresses for that particular member. The double click works for all the objects. If I double click, say, on a node down here, I should expect to see its reactions, and I will get those as well. So we can very quickly get a report of an object by double clicking on it, either in a result view or a design view. The final thing I want to talk about is how we can export or save these results that are in a table. We do that by using the Save tab up here in the upper left-hand corner. And when we do that, we have the ability to save the existing report in many different formats, including um, PowerPoint, Excel, Word. And so you can save it in many different formats. In addition, if I would like to print a report, I can simply click on the Print button and select my printer, hit the Print button, and print directly.